Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer from 646 Studios and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the Godox S-Bracket Bowen Mount. Why you need it, why it's very important that you need one of these brackets. Now, I understand you may be on a budget, but this is pretty affordable. It's only between uh, $20 and $26 on Amazon. You can get the S bracket bone mount for a number of reasons. The reasons are, it's because you want to be versatile with it. So if you have snoots, other types of umbrellas, if you have any uh, bone mount brackets that you can want to mount, like if you want to add a Godox uh, AD600, you can mount that onto this bone mount as well. You can replace it. But this one in particular, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to use it with your flashes. It's very important that you buy one of these is because the trick and tip of the day is that you wanna center your flash in the middle of your umbrella as possible. So I do have an umbrella, I have a flash, but I wanna let you guys know that before we get into it that this bracket here and this mountain bracket here is basically what you probably would start off with and i do recommend this bracket in particular because this is a three-way flash bracket that you can use to center your flash but it's aluminum and your flashes might fall off it's very easy to break the shoe mount as i did on your flashes so keep in mind that it is very useful but do you really want something something that might break your flashes or might fall off it's up to you to decide that. But other than that, you don't want one of these either because it's just a single bracket, but it doesn't actually center in the middle of your umbrella. And what I'm referring to is the fact that I, if I open this umbrella here, and you want to be very center. So you want to be center with the pole and the pole is very center. So you want to make sure that you get as much uh, light in the middle to balance out your 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 output of the flash to your subject so if that makes any sense so i'm going to demonstrate that to you guys in a moment and i'm going to show you what i'm using i have a model part here with the s bracket uh, mounted on uh, basically it's very versatile and i'm going to show you guys the unboxes on another video that i did i'm going to actually delete the audio from that so you guys can see that video as well but uh, when you do your portraits, especially portraits or wedding photography, you might want to bring this along just in case you want to actually get some one-on-one uh, -on -one time with the bride and the groom, uh, even the bridesmaids. So, uh, but other than that, let me show you why you want to mount your flash onto this bowing mount. So I'm going to unscrew this particular up a little more. All the way up until I get a center point you see here and I'm gonna mount it down as tight as possible now I'm able to actually if I turn this around I'm able to actually mount it on safely and it won't fall off like those other brackets that I just showed you so and you can see from the back of the bone the s bracket bone mount that I have full control over my flash I can set it up if I want to use this as an individually uh, flash holder, if I want, if I don't want to set a flash, um, if I don't want to set a softbox or a snoot or any type of softbox that I want to put on here. But it's going to be very, very important that you buy one of these and I do recommend it. Now, I'm not a professional when I say these things. I'm just here to help you guys and the uh, photography community understand why it's very important to buy one of these bowing mount so and as you can see my Godox TT600S is actually mounted because I'm not allowed to mount it on my camera body anymore I do the best that I can so that's the reason why I brought the S, um, S bracket bowing mount so keep that in mind but the next step I am going to show you guys is why it should be centered so I might fast forward this part so be patient and I'm going to show you why you should mount this on and why being centered in your umbrellas or your snoots are very important. You want the flash to be centered. So I'm gonna mount this on really quickly. Show you guys, demonstrate this.
and as you can see it's center if you can see that it's very center sorry just gonna move some stuff out the way it's very center in the middle now so the flash is going directly in the middle of the umbrella so it bounces off the, the output of your flash and balance out that light so when it hits your target or your subject it gives you direct exposure of your subject or your model and it's really it's a very windy day in new york city i'm doing this out in the cold everyone so it's very cold it's probably like 33 degrees outside and i've got a bunch of police sirens going on up here i'm sorry for the audio i'm doing this outside but other than that it's going to be as I said, it's going to be very crucial that you guys do this. It's very important that the S bracket will definitely, you'll see a big dramatic difference when you do portrait photography. You can see how the light transitions itself for one part of the subject's face and from when you're not using the S bracket bow mount to another, um, to another part when you are using the S bracket on the subject and you can see how it lights up your entire subject's body so and you can see that it's actually pointing center directly in the middle very much center so if this helps you can put a soft box right on top of this or you can add a little bonus to give your your portrait photography a little a little uh creativity is use one of these grid mounts and these work really well so if you guys are definitely looking into buying one of these i definitely recommend buying one of these grid uh these grids for your softbox or your flash so keep that in mind but i just want to make this quick video tutorial about how to set this up it's ready for it and you have all controls here so therefore that's pretty much and pretty much it to it but thank you for watching everyone and i hope you do love the content and please do subscribe to the channel please hit that like button please share the content it really helps me out on my new youtube channel here at 646 studios uh and definitely go to my website at 646studios.com where you can find a bunch of tutorials on photography knife photography astro photography even videography in that point of case and you can make a donation if you like at any amount you want uh and basically it's all my content is all free on my website so i appreciate you guys do that and i will see you guys in the next one